What's up OSC, welcome to Daily Devos and welcome to 21 Days of Prayer. So today is the first day of the week of our 21 Days of Prayer and we are excited to just be starting this with you guys. It's the start of a new season. Uh, it's the start of you know the fall coming on and a lot of a lot of people are starting school this week and so we're just excited to get this second half of the year beginning of this new season just kicked off right with you guys and uh, so thank you for joining us to do that today and what better way to kick off this new season than to kick it off with worship and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So the scripture I want to share with you guys is from uh, John chapter 4, uh, verse 23 and 24. And this is Jesus speaking to the Samaritan woman at the well. And he said to her, he said, But I tell you, an hour is coming and is now here when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For such people the Father seeks to be his worshipers. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and and in truth. So can you imagine someone like a, a religious leader or a pastor telling you that because you weren't worshiping at church that God didn't accept your worship and that it wasn't worthy to him? That essentially was what this woman had been told in her life, this Samaritan woman, that because she wasn't from Jerusalem, because she didn't live in Jerusalem, that her worship was not acceptable to God and that she was not allowed to worship anywhere besides Jerusalem. And so Jesus goes out of his way to find this woman and to tell her, I see you here in Samaria and you are acceptable to me. And you are free to worship me, not only here in your home, but anywhere that you go. Because now that Jesus is here, now that the Savior is here, the door is wide open for you to be able to worship your Heavenly Father anywhere. That's essentially, in not so many words, what Jesus went out of his way to tell this Samaritan woman. And so I just want to encourage you guys with that today, that just because you are not at church right now just because you are not sitting in a sanctuary with people uh, playing instruments and singing songs doesn't mean that you cannot worship God the Bible teaches us that now that Jesus has come and opened the door for us the Spirit of God lives within us and our worship is acceptable to God no matter where we go and so today, as we begin this new season, as we begin, um, you know, this this new school year, uh, many of you are teachers that are going to work this week, and uh, I know you've had a great summer, uh, but there's still a lot of challenges ahead of us. There's still a lot of things that we're facing as a as a church and as a community and as a society, and uh, and so what better way to put our best foot forward? than to put everything in perspective and worship our Heavenly Father, to put Him first, to put Him on the throne with our praise and with our worship. And that's essentially what worshiping does, is it, it puts God first, it lets the world around us know how important God is above all the things that we face. And it's important for us to realize that we're free to do that anytime and anywhere. The Bible says that true worshipers worship God in spirit and in truth. And so together, wherever we're at today, I just want you to take a moment to just to just quiet your heart before the Lord and, and just take a second to worship Him. And it doesn't have to be song. The Bible says that, that any act of, of sacrifice, of, of glorifying God, either with our words, uh, with our songs, with our praises, it's worship to God. And so today we're going to start this, this season, we're going to start this 21 days of prayer off with worship. And so I just want to take a, a couple of seconds to pray with you guys to start this season, to worship God, and to just thank Him for all that He's done. So just bow your head with me, unless you're driving, don't bow your head, but uh, let's, let's pray and let's do this together. So God, we just thank you that you are uh, magnified in our life, and we just take this moment right now to, to make your name big, 
God, above all the problems that, that we are facing, above all the struggles that we're facing, God, even the, the, the division, God, that we may be facing in our country, in our communities, God, we, we place you above that. And we call you our king today, God. And we just thank you that, that you are seated on the throne of heaven, God. And you have sent your son to open the door wide for us to worship you in spirit and in truth wherever we're at. And so today, right now in this moment, God, as, as people are beginning this new school year, God, we worship you and we praise you. And we know that you are going to make good things come to pass as we place you on the throne of praise today, God. And so as we do this, God, as we begin this new season, as we pray for this next 21 days as a church and as a community of believers, God, we know that you're going to do great things. And so we just take a moment today to set our hearts right to focus on you first, God, to worship you and to lift your name up and to, to make your praises known, God. I pray that you would put words in our mouth, God, to speak encouragement this year, God, that you would put words in our mouth to, to speak truth this year, God, to get to speak blessing this year, God, that the Bible says that whatever we whatever we speak that is, that is loosed, on earth will be loosed in heaven whatever is bound up and on earth god by our words we bound up in heaven god so we just god we bind up god the the curses god we bind up sickness god we bind up evil god we bind up the enemy's plans god to destroy and to divide and god today we just release peace over our, our families, God. We release peace over our children. We release peace over our uh, our teachers as they go back to school this these coming weeks, God. We release peace and blessing over our pastors, God, that are that are serving to serve our communities, God. We release peace over uh, the, the those that serve on the teams at our church, God, and, and those that are watching this video right now, God. We just release peace and blessing uh, and favor over each of those lives, God. And, and we, we use our words right now, God, to magnify your name, knowing that you are mighty and that you are good and that whenever we put our trust in you, God, that, that it says that our hope, whenever we put our hope in you, that we won't be disappointed. So we do that today, God, and we lift your name high and we start this day off with worship, God magnifying your name we start this season off with worship god making your name great god and for these next 21 days god i pray that you would just continue to set our hearts and our minds right and that today would not be the only day that we begin with worship god but that we would learn just like the samaritan woman god that that we are free to worship you anywhere at any time god in spirit and in truth and that you have made that, that opportunity available to us, God, to worship you wherever we're at. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Church family, let's have a great 21 days of prayer together. And I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, we just released blessing over you today and hope that you have a wonderful day and that you can take some more time throughout your day to just worship God wherever you're at. So you guys have a great day. We love you. We bless you. And uh, let us know how we can pray for you. God bless. <music>